In this video, we'll look at the interface for SketchUp Pro 2020 and see how to get started with this software. This is the workspace. This is a scale figure. These are the axes which you try to model parallel to. Now notice when I clicked on the scale figure, it highlighted. This is a component and clicking on it highlights it, which means I can edit it. Well, I need to double click to edit it and that applies for any component. Up here is the getting started toolbar. There are a lot more toolbars. You can right click and see them all or you can go to view toolbars and choose the ones you want to open. I like to work with the large tool set open, the standard tool set open, and the views tool set open. To some extent I can customize the space while this is open. For example, I can move the positions of the individual icons. I can make a new toolbar and then just put the icons in it that I want. And then I can also reset any of these toolbars by selecting them and clicking reset. Once I close this, I can still do some customization, such as bringing the toolbars into the workspace, or I can totally drag them off the workspace and onto the desktop. Double click on them to redock them. See, I can do that to this toolbar. I can change the shape a little bit and then again double click to redock. Here we have a menu and you can look at all of these choices. And over here we've got trays with more functions. It's easy to accidentally close a tray. And if you do that, bring it back by going to Window, Default Tray, and then you can turn on any of these individual trays. Or click Manage Trays, click Default, and then turn on whichever trays you want. You might like to work with the instructor on. This is a tray that gives you a tutorial of the tools. See if I click on a toolbar, it gives me a little tutorial, tells me about it. And if I scroll down, I can click on this and it'll take me online to tell me more about it. I find it a bit distracting though, so I always just close it. But again, go to Window, Default Tray, and open any tray that you closed and want back. This is the Select tool. And this is the default tool I like to have on. Let's see how to get started. If you mouse over these tools, a pop-up comes up telling you what it is. I'm going to click on the rectangle and you want to work near the origin, near or on it. 
Notice a pop-up came up saying that this is a square. That's part of SketchUp's inference engine. It's inferring that I wanted a square and it's telling me that right now this rectangle is a square. Now notice here it's telling me the sizes. I can just click if I want to sketch loosely and that's where the scale figure comes in handy because it keeps me grounded on how large or small the model is. Or I can type in a number. Now if I want it 10 foot by 10 foot I need to type in foot symbol comma 10 foot foot symbol because the default is inches. Then click enter and that's a 10 by 10 square. If I want to change the dimension as long as I haven't clicked the space bar or the mouse or another tool I can type in another set of numbers and it will adjust to that. See I forgot to put a foot symbol after the 10 so it gave me 10 inches. Let me fix that. Now this is a face and I'm going to click on the select tool because again I prefer to work with that when I'm not modeling. This is a plane. It's bounded by edges and this is actually, the, the gray is the front face, which is best if it's facing up. SketchUp doesn't always get it right, but I can click, right click, and reverse faces, and that changes the face orientation. And I'm now going to click push pull, and that gives volume to the plane and I'll type 10 feet and then that's how high it will adjust to. Now if I click once I select a plane. If I click twice I select the plane and its boundaries and if I clicked three times I select everything that is attached click off somewhere on the workspace to deselect. Another way to select is with windows. If I select from the, if I drag from the lower right to the upper left, that's a crossing window and it will select everything that the window touched. I'm going to select her and hit delete. If I drag from the upper left to the lower right, that's a selection window. And it selects everything that is inside the crossing window. There are other ways to select too. For example, I can right click, select, and you see all these other options. Now, this is loose geometry, and what I mean by that is everything is going to stick to each other. That's how SketchUp works. It's called fusion. Well, let me show you what I mean. Here's the line tool. Here, I dragged it along the edge and then the midpoint tooltip came up and I'm going to draw a line at the top. Notice it's red. That means it's parallel to the red axes and click. If you hit the space bar that takes you back to the select tool. Now I'm going to select that and now click on the move tool and I can make a roof. 
So that's what fusion is. That's what stickiness is. And when it does what you want, it works great. But here's where it won't do what you want. Say you want to add a piece to this. And then you decide that you want to move that piece. So I'm going to select it. If I hold the shift key down, I can deselect things that I didn't mean to select. See, there's a plus and minus sign there. So I've selected that and I want to move it. But I can't because of fusion. It is sticking to the house. So how I manage that is with groups. I'm going to select the whole thing, right click and say make group. And I've put an invisible shell around this. If I want to edit it, I need to double click and that opens the editing box of the group and I can edit inside it. But now, as you see, I can draw adjacent to this house and select it. And notice that with three clicks, only it gets selected, not the group behind it. And then I can move it. And notice the dashed red line. Again, I'm moving parallel to the red axes, which is what I want to do. If I moved it up, I want it parallel to the blue axes. And I'm just going to hit delete to get rid of it. Now, when you first start working with SketchUp, a common mistake is to forget that you have grouped geometry. So if I want to edit it, and I've forgotten that, I'll edit it by drawing outside the group, and then I'll only realize that when I move it and I've left all my editing behind. That's real common with beginning SketchUppers, so let me show you the fix for that. What I would do is I would select this, and then I would go to Edit, Cut, double click to open the editing box, then go to Edit, Paste in Place. And it will put it inside the group in that same place. As you can see, it's part of the group. So that should get you started with working with SketchUp.